Question number four. In a certain country, the weather each day is classified as rainy, fine or rainy. The property that on a, that a fine day is followed by a fine day is 0 0.7. So fine and fine is 0 0.7. So a fine day followed by a fine day is 0 0.7. 75, so that's 0 0.75. And the probability that a rainy day is followed by a fine day, a rainy day is followed by a fine day, is 0 0.4. So that's 0 0.4 right over here. The probability that it is fine on 1st April is 0 0.8. So this is 1st April that's given to us, that's 0 0.8. So if it's fine on 0, on 1st April, so it's going to be 0 0.2, that's rainy on 1st April. On the 2nd April, if it's fine, that's 0 0.75, so it has to be rainy. That's going to give us 0 0.25, 1 minus this. This is 0 0.4, so this is going to be 0 0.6. And this is, remember, for the 1st April. This is for the 2nd April. So it says the probability that it is fine on 1st April is 0 0.8. The tree diagram below shows the possibilities for the weather on the 1st and 2nd April. Complete the tree diagram to show the probabilities. That's part one. Part two, it says find the probability that 2nd April is fine. So the 2nd April has to be fine. So that's this and that's this. So what's 1st April that's not given to us? The 2nd April has to be fine. So this is fine into fine, this fine and this fine. So we have fine into fine, or we can have rainy into fine, rainy into fine. As long as this is 1st and this is 2nd April, this is 1st and this is 2nd April. As long as we are getting the 2nd April as being fine. A fine day. So find the probability that 2nd April is a fine day. So that's going to give us 0 0.8 multiplied by 0 0.75, 0 0.8 times 0 0.75, and then 0 0.2 times 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 times 0 0.4. And we get this as 0 0.6 plus 0 0.08. And we get the final answer 0 0.68. That's our final answer. That's part B. Then we have part C. Part C is this. Let X be the event that 1st April is fine and Y be the event that 3rd April is rainy. Find the value of P intersection of prob probability of X intersection Y. So X is the event the 1st April is fine and Y is the event that 3rd April is rainy. The 3rd April is a rainy day. Now remember it says if it's a rainy day, Let's go back to the question and read this. So we will get the property of 3rd April. In a certain country, the weather each day is classified as fine or rainy. The probability that a fine day is followed by a fine day is 0 0.75. So if it's 2nd April is fine, so 3rd April is also fine, that's going to be 0 0.75. And the probability that it's rainy day followed by a fine day is 0 0.4. Find the probability that on the fine, and this is what we have already done. Okay. So if we go back to the question now. We will get this as 0 0.8 being multiplied by 0 0.75, being multiplied by 0 0.25, that's the first option we have, plus 0 0.8 times 0 0.25, being multiplied by 0 0.6, 
that's going to give us 0 0.15 plus 0 0.2 over 0 0.27. That will be the answer. Finding, find the value of x intersection y. That means let x be the when that first April is fine and y be the when that third April is raining. So this is fine and the third April is raining. This is fine and the third April is raining. So fine followed by a fine is 0 0.75 fine and then it's rainy followed by another rainy is 0 0.6. And we get the answer as this. So these are the two conditions, two options that we can have: fine, fine, rainy, or fine, rainy, rainy. Now we have another part to this, which is part D. Find the property that first April is fine, given that third April is rainy. So this is going to be conditional probability. This is probability of first April being fine, given that third April is rainy. So we have one given that third, so probability of one intersection three, sorry, probability of one intersection three, first April and third April. I'll just raise this. Upon given that, which is the third April. So we get this as 0 0.27, what we got from part one, from the previous part, part C, and probability of third being this is from, this we get this as 0 0.3, probability of third being this. So we have to work out this. So this is going to be 0 0.27 plus 0 0.2 plus times 0 0.4 times 0 0.25 plus 0 0.2 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.6. And that gives us 0 0.362. Yeah, that gives us this because these are the three options that we have. So the first option we have from here, the third day has to be raining. Basically, this is third April has to be raining. So third April is going to be raining. Given that the first two is whatever the first two are, we got this as this, the third one is raining. And then we have another option for third being rainy. And then we have another option for third being rainy. So these are all the options that we have for third day being third April being rainy. And this is 0 0.362. That comes over here, 0 0.362. So 0 0.27 divided by 0 0.362. And that gives us the answer as 0 0.746. So that's. Question number four then.